There is this giant excitement level for this tournament as we build up to it. Every boat yard's full of boats getting ready. All the tackle shops have tackle in there getting ready, getting prepared. I don't know of any captain that doesn't want to fish this, no matter if they're in Morehead City or Isla Mirada. We all want to be part of it. The Big Rock is the greatest blue marlin tournament in the world, period. Welcome to Big Rock Landing. Bring him up, bring him up. Really, really, if he doubles on that line, you lose it. Came up on the left short, pounded the One million six hundred and seventy-eight thousand dollars. This is your new leader. Moorhead City was coming out of World War II. The Moorhead City waterfront was boat building, commercial fish houses. It was a working commercial waterfront. There weren't that many sport fishing boats, certainly not what we know them as today. Up until 1957, a blue marlin had never been landed off of the coast of Moorhead City. And a group of the local businessmen got together and said, well, let's put some money together and get people encouraged to go out there and fish for it and participate. And that's really the basis of where the tournament started from. In September 14th, 1957, Jimmy Croy leaves the dock on the Mary Z with Captain Bill Olson from the Moorhead City Yacht Basin. The sea trial for that boat, and they go out and catch a blue marlin. I wish I could have been there for the excitement. That changed fishing in Moorhead City forever. We started out this small little tournament trying to put Moorhead City on the map with sport fishing. Promote sport fishing in Carter County, promote sport fishing in North Carolina, and give money away to charities. And so that was our very simple mission from day one. The foundation is the charitable arm of the tournament, and the charitable arm is really why Big Rock exists, to fund our core charities. They depended on those funds every year for programs. If for whatever reason the Big Rock Tournament could not go on as planned, the foundation exists to make sure that those charitable donations will be made on an annual basis. We have a core group of charities that we give to every year a certain amount of money, but then we look for bigger projects and higher impact projects, something that the Big Rock could really make a difference in whether that project happens or not. We've been able to do so much more than just what we thought the tournament could in the beginning. This past year, we were able to give $1 million away in a single tournament year. The Big Rock Tournament is pleased to donate $1 million. And I think it speaks to the growth of the tournament, the growth of the industry, the growth of Moorhead City, the cultural phenomenon that the Big Rock has become. The Big Rock is the Super Bowl of fishing. And when you think about the Super Bowl, you think about all the impact it has. How does it affect the community? How does it affect the state? How does it affect everybody that's around it or touches it? I was in a meeting recently with one of our charities. The president of that organization looked at me and said, Tommy, our organizations have a lot in common. We're both in the hope business. The guy's fishing. I hope I catch that big one. I hope I win that big money. But for those of us, maybe we're not participants, but we love the tournament. We love the charitable work that it does. The money that we give is helping achieve a hope. It makes that dream become a reality. When you really dig down to what the Big Rock is, the Big Rock is about changing lives. It's life-changing if you win, it's life-changing to the people to see a blue morning for the first time, and it's life-changing to the charities benefit. You're all part of that story. And we would like to expand that growth into the community, into different people that want to be a part of the tournament, that maybe can't come and fish the tournament, but want to be a part of what the Big Rock is all about. It's a donation from you. It's a t-shirt bought in our retail store. It's a sponsor supported across all three tournaments, Big Rock, Big Rock Kids, and KWLA. It's very important for all the support that we can garner to continue the legacy of Big Rock.
writing that small and it'd be a thousand things. Oh yeah, I can't see that. Hello, everybody. All right, well, good afternoon, everybody. Our Big Rock family and friends joining us around the world on uh, all of our social media platforms. And uh, for those of you who have braved another beautiful, hot day here at Big Rock Landing, we're delighted to have you all with us. Uh, Tommy Bennett, of course, here with you. Uh, our main man, Henry Hinton, has decided to come back today. I'm back. I missed had one a little, day. Uh, had a little um, adventure off in Greenville. We're going to talk about that. Uh, here in just a minute. Um, big story today, 139 of 266 boats fishing today. Uh, the fishing actually slowed down a little bit. 14 blue marlins caught and released, five white ones, and eight sailfish uh, caught today. Henry, yesterday, I know you weren't here, but it was uh, it was on yesterday. Lots of good fishing yeah. yesterday. I was watching you guys, watching you guys. You had a big crowd in here last night, too. We did, uh, and I'll tell you, um, the crowd last, last night set a new standard for excitement and uh, electricity in the air. Uh, we had two blue marlins weighed in, not quite uh, cracking the leaderboard, but boy, old uh, Captain Ashley Forrest on the breakwater came in like a champ last night and the, the crowd literally went wild That's it was great. really something to see did you did you have any idea when the first fish came in monday that 572 pounder that we would be sitting here on friday afternoon and he'd still be in first place no that was the first fish no. that came in no no i did not i did not yeah. but speaking of the first fish that came in Mercenaria, 572.6 pound blue marlin. Uh, he is in all the levels, uh, potentially th almost $3.5 million in prize money. Of course, Henry, he won that $777,000. They're getting uh, nervous right now. They're yeah. getting nervous right now because they're they're actually beginning to smell that three point five million. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't spend it quite yet. Uh, although although they do have seven hundred and seventy seven thousand that they can uh, use for fuel this week. That's for sure. We need to remind them what happened last year when the winning fish came in on Friday night at about eleven o'clock. Yeah, <laughs> that's not going to happen tonight, unfortunately, for us. We still have tomorrow. We still have tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, but you're right. I'm certain that uh, the Mercenary, the Wall Hanger, and the High Yield, our top three boats, are uh, starting to sweat a little bit, starting to taste it, you know, maybe yeah. just a little bit. Yeah. But listen, I anything would. that can anything can happen. I've, I've, I've watched uh, just a few things on social media, and uh, my friend Brian Henry from Charlotte is putting it in perspective for us. He says... Nothing at the Big Rock tournament is given. He said it is all earned. And I, if when I see him again, I'm going to thank him for that. Yeah. And I really think at the end of the day, Henry, that uh, really kind of sums it up. Nothing is given here. You earn it here at the Big Rock Blue Marlin tournament. But it's um, a lot to earn. There is. <laughs> uh, let's, let's, let's go through some of the leaderboard again. Um, there, yesterday was a was a big day fishing wise. The the leaderboard totally uh, shaken up all the way, kind of after the uh, blue marlin divisions. Henry all the way down. The safari uh, just torched them yesterday. Three blue marlins and a sailfish yesterday. Wow. They are on fire again today. Uh, two blue marlins and a sailfish, I believe, today jumped into the lead in the weekly release division category uh, now sitting with 2250 points um the wave paver was looking at a wire to wire victory there had caught four blue marlin on the first day they've been bumped down to number two uh the safari right now picking up look what looks like two daily prizes of thirty seven thousand dollars each wow. and a hundred and twelve thousand dollar weekly prize looking at almost a hundred and eighty seven thousand dollars in the release category there five, here they've caught five blue more well they've hooked five blue marlin this week That's caught a, well i don't know how many they've hooked they've caught and released five blue marlins and caught and released two sailfish yeah. and that's just in the last two days alone so so uh you know when you say you got the hum they got the hum and they are they are just torching them right now um the irene has uh has vaulted into the lead in the non-sonar release division having 
A great week of fishing, uh, looking at $172,000 potentially for them right now, picking up a daily and in the lead with the um, non-sonar release weekly division. Uh, let's see here, Henry. What else? The other big news for me yesterday, Captain Jay Blunt on the Carolina time came in. You know, the J&B had been holding steady on that 29-and-a-half-pound dolphin, yeah. uh, you know, worth $527,000, Henry, for the largest dolphin. And, and look, no, no offense. My, the boys on the J&B are friends of mine, uh, and we, we've just kind of said all along, something's going to beat 29-and-a-half pounds. And sure enough, yesterday, uh, Captain Jay Blunt and the crew of the Carolina Time decked a 54.1-pound dolphin. That is a big dolphin. Uh, well, that was a full-grown one right there. Uh, the memories came in yesterday, too, 32.2 pounds on, uh, on the big dolphin category. So they're in second place. And I think, you know, those are the, the really the things that stand out to me. The, um, the safari just torching the fleet today, uh, yesterday and today. Uh, Jay Blunt in the Carolina time on the uh, with the big dolphin, you know, big big changes yesterday and today. Um, you know, this afternoon, Henry, uh, you know, it's it's kind of disappointing. No blue marlins coming to the scales, but there's still um, there's still an awful lot of daily prizes available. Uh, a couple thousand bucks uh, for first place in the game fish dailies, thousand bucks for uh, for second place, and you know we've said it we've said it all along. Getting to come to the scales at Big Rock Landing with a fish of any kind, weighing it in, let's do the crowd cheer for you, have your picture made, you know, it doesn't get much better than that. It's exciting. It's exciting. You can see it on their face when they pull in. And uh, we've had a lot of that this week. It's really fantastic. Well, now, Henry, I mentioned you were off yesterday. Uh, you were you were home uh, working, uh, you know, giving so generously of your time again. You got all your friends are here. No, I don't that's know a, anybody. That's yeah, Pirate you know, Al right over there. Yeah, see, I got see you. that guy in the green I, shirt? I got you. I got you. We don't just call him Al. He's Pirate, Pirate Al. Al. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> Henry, I, I was, we were talking before we went on. Uh, you know, tell us. You were in Greenville last night. I'm sure you know lots of people were talking about the Big Rock. What what do you hear from oh, from man. Greenville? You know what's the what's the story there? We had I did two fundraisers since I left you. I did. <laughs> we had a fundraiser last night at the Greenville Hilton for uh, the Boy Scouts. They had the Distinguished Service Award um, banquet last night that I emceed and, and rose for one of my really really close friends, Dr. Marcus Albernaz, who's one of the top ENT surgeons in North Carolina. He won that award last night. But when I got to the reception last night, everybody said, man, we've been seeing you on Big Rock TV. It's amazing to me the impact of the video and, and everybody watching it and the impact of the tournament. I mean, everybody in eastern North Carolina is talking about it. My, my son said it best yesterday. He got down here yesterday, and he made, he made this comment. He said, you know what? This is the, there's nothing else going on. In, during the summer that even comes close to this, this is the biggest thing that happens in eastern North Carolina now in the summer. And that's a credit to you and uh, yeah, well, you're, Randy you're very and, kind. and all the folks on the board that have done such in Crystal and and um, and I don't want to leave anybody else. Madison, no, no, listen, Harley, all the people who work so hard to put yeah. this thing on. I mean, this is a big, big thing now. Yeah, we, we got a great staff. All the rest of us are volunteers. Uh, the staff gets all the credit. They do all, they do all the work, trust me. And there's a lot of it to be done. Yeah. It does not – you just don't show up here – uh, a week ago on Monday or Monday of this week, and say let's have a yeah. big rock tournament. There's had, a lo there's also, a lot to it. We also had a Crime Stoppers radiothon in Greenville this morning, and uh, raised a lot of money for Crime Stoppers program for the uh, police department and the sheriff's department in Pitt County. And again, it was the buzz. Everybody wanted to talk about the big rock, they, yeah. and everybody keeps saying, "Has anybody beaten that 572?" They know how they, <laughs> they know, know exactly how big the mercenary <laughs> fish was. They know. They know. That's good. <laughs> All right, a couple, couple other things here. Um, it's a, an absolutely beautiful afternoon uh, here on the Moorhead City waterfront here at Big Rock Landing. Uh, those of you who are out and about, um, enjoy yourselves here. There's plenty to do. Uh, I, was, I got here, and I kind of said, man, it's like a festival atmosphere. And then I said, man, this is like a carnival atmosphere. There's a lot of people here. I get in line at the Big Rock store right now. There were 50 people waiting in line to get in over there. Obviously, something is going on great in the Big Rock store. And, um, you know, every every dime that's spent over there, those profits go to charities. So, uh, Henry, I know uh, one other thing. 
you're a big birthday guy, and we've got a special birthday here uh, today. A uh, young lady uh, by the name of Susan Ramsey. Today is her 50th birthday. Where is Susan? So Henry is our Susan. Henry is our All right. designated All right, Susan, happy birthday here. singer. Come over so here, Susan. Y'all warm up, warm your pipes up here, and we'll uh, we're happy gonna sing birthday. happy happy birthday to Susan Ramsey, the the big five O, Henry. Yep. Some little birdie told me that you were 50 years old. You look well for 50, if that's, for, if that's the truth. That is the truth. You must have had an easy life. No, I've had a hard one, but I love, <laughs> I love fishing. That's what saves me. Well, there you go. Why aren't you out there instead of here? I know, right? I got uh, one, of, one of my best friends is having a birthday today uh, in Greenville. My buddy Scott Shook is having a birthday. I called him on the way down here. But we're going to sing happy birthday to Susan. You ready? Ready. Everybody out there, if you do not, if I catch anyone not singing, there's going to be trouble. I don't know what the trouble's going to be yet, but I'll come up with some trouble. All right, y'all ready? One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. I see some of you not singing. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Susan. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. All right. She's, she's, getting for, she's getting for clamped. <laughs> Are you for clamped? No, I just need, uh, honestly, where's Michael Jordan? Where's Michael? <laughs> oh, you want Michael Jordan to sing to you. Well, you don't want much. Yes, he'll be here in a minute. He's going to sing to you. Yeah, let, let me just call him. Yeah, he'll, he'll come right over. All right, Susan. Happy birthday, Thank Susan. You. All right, so uh, uh, just a little time check here. 3.30, uh, you know, Henry fishing is 9 to 3. Uh, lines out of the water. Takes, uh, you know, an hour and a half for some of the, uh, some of the uh, really go-fast outboards to get here. Most likely we'll be seeing some action at the scales, uh, you know, starting 4.30, 5 o'clock. And again, that rule check, the game fish scales are open until 7 o'clock. There is an awful lot of money available in the game fish uh, division. And, of course, uh, you know, come, out, come down and cheer for your friends if they're, uh, they're going to be here. And I'll run around and try to I'll, – I'll see if I can find Susan something in the prize van. Yeah, we got a few things. We'll, we'll give uh, away a few we'll, things. And we'll we, got some, some we got some announcements coming uh, this afternoon from the tournament, various things that are going on, uh, you know, videos that pop up and things that we do on a uh, on an annual and daily basis so uh we are here come by and see us you know people have sent me a text and email saying tommy man you, you you're on uh, you're on uh, big rock tv i said well come see us you, you know come down here and see us come sit in here and take the microphone for a little while and talk <laughs> be great curtis will be back tomorrow right i think curtis is going to be back tomorrow so i well, saw, we'll saw there was an article about him being up there and um where he won the uh, U.S. Open up there, yeah, he's he's off with the. He said he had a meeting, a lunch with the golf riders of America. That's good go. for that's good for his uh, his real broadcasting career, Henry. Oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. All right, not this. Well, stay with us here. Uh, day five of uh, the record-setting 64th annual Big Rock Tournament rolls on here. Lines are out of the water, and we are patiently awaiting uh, any game fish to head our way. And of course, we will be with you here as all of the action unfolds. Thank you for being with us. Stay here. We'll be back here shortly.
about the kids. Okay, well, welcome back, uh, our family and friends that are watching around the world. We uh, And those are here on the Moorhead City waterfront. We did promise some special announcements today, and here is one of them. I'm pleased to be joined by Crystal Hesmer, the uh, new director of the Big Rock Foundation. Randy Gregory, who you've seen all week way in Blue Marlins, uh, is joining us. And uh, one of our local fishing legends, Eddie Cameron here from Moorhead City, is joining us. Uh, special announcement about the Take a Kid Fishing Program. And I'll let uh, Ra Randy tell us about Take a Kid Fishing, then we'll talk about the announcement. What, what, what is it? So uh, over 30 years ago, um, Bob Hodges, old waymaster, Dale Ward, uh, great friend to me and to a lot of these fishermen guys around here. Uh, but Bob Hodges started, he said, you know what? It was with the Carter County Sport Fishing Club. He said, you know, we ought to take some kids fishing that, that don't get to see the ocean and stuff and don't get a chance to go fishing. So they uh, they charter out the Captain Stacy headboat and they would invite kids from all over North Carolina and they would take them fishing for a day. And then when they would get back, this is the, Eddie and I were just talking about when we got started with it and everything. And old Dale Ward was, you know, he was a kind of a gruff, deep voice guy. And he said, uh, hey, you're going to come cook hamburgers and hot dogs for these kids. So we and you went said, out there. And you said, yes, sir. We, I always said, yes, sir. Because he was about 6'4", and I'm not. Um, but anyway, so, so Dale, Dale, um, Dale would do the cooking. Uh, Bob Hodges uh, would cut onions, and man, we had a we had a picnic like no other every time we did it. And um, so it started about 30 years ago, and and of course with the uh, COVID stuff, we had it we had to stop doing it. And um, but uh, we we kind of figured out maybe that we we had we all had some friends at this uh, pretty good fishing tournament in Moorhead City that we were all somewhat a part of, and. Um, we thought that if we had to stop this, we knew of some folks that would carry on in the spirit of take a kid fishing. Yeah, so that's a that's a great story, Randy. And of course, uh, on behalf of all of us at the Big Rock Tournament, we're very appreciative of everything that you and Eddie and Dale and and Bob did over the years for take a kid fishing. And now, I, I think the best way to put it is you have in, you are now entrusting. The, uh, the legacy of Take a Kid Fishing to the Big Rock Foundation. And it comes along with a check, too, doesn't it? It, it? it does. It does. Uh, so for the last, gosh, 12, 15 years, we had a – Teresa Holcomb was our executive director and did an awesome job. And we grew from one headboat to every headboat in Carter County, every pier, every inch of waterfront we could get, we got – six or seven hundred fishing rods uh i mean we did everything we could and i think the most we had was about 700 kids uh wow. right before everything happened with the pandemic and and um and we we got i mean we were we were really had a bunch of kids coming and 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 it was a great program but it's just something that that we we feel like we we can't do anymore but we we knew that you guys could help us carry on the tradition. And, it, and I think it does fit very well. You know, you think about the Big Rock Tournament expanding into Big Rock Kids. And, of course, the Take a Kid Fishing was has always been one of our core charities. Uh, money from the tournament going to help make that program successful every year. So as kind of one chapter closes, maybe another one is going to open, uh, and certainly in a very – in a very positive uh, way, so, so let's. Yeah, uh, I, I just yeah, real quick, by, yeah, by um, all means, and, and let's we go. I want to give Eddie to tell it, tell us a little story too, maybe right. a favorite but, memory uh, or two of uh, Take a Kid Fishing. So uh, the the Take a Kid Fishing Board, which is a uh, uh, Annette and and Adrian Holler, uh, Sea Striker, very famous in the tournament. Um, big big part of that, and you know, in our board we have a small board had a small board and and we did a lot of work and and uh, gosh Teresa Holcomb did the the lion's share of that and a big thanks to her but um Eddie Cameron who's here with me Chris Pardue who is you know uh Calcutta, Calcutta. fishing products um 
uh, Mark Suber, um, Jim Davis down in, in Swansboro. A little shout out to Jim. He's gotten a little bit under the weather. We wish him to get well fast. I haven't seen Jim in a and, while. Um, and me. <laughs> uh, so we, we had fun board meetings and, you know, we got kicked stuff off and then. And a great group of people to, to deal with, and I, I'm sad to see it go, but we can't wait to see what's going to yeah, happen. Hand that microphone over there to Eddie. I'm, I'm going to embarrass him just a little bit. I gave you, I did give you 60 seconds to, you know, think about it. A favorite memory from Take a Kid Fishing, maybe, or how did you get involved? Were you, were you ordered to show up, too? I was ordered to show yeah. up. Yeah, my wife said, you're going to be there. So <laughs> you know how that goes. That's a smart man. Yeah, i got to follow suit, but... Uh, the favorite, the best memories are out there in the field while you're on that pier. You know, they're catching fish. They're catching little hogfish and pinfish. And what is this? And what is that? You know, just the first time you caught a fish mm -hmm. is that first time for every one of those kids. And it is just enlightening. I mean, there's nothing like it. And uh, it really will turn your, it will melt your heart. Yeah, so yeah, and I uh, think, it is the best thing. Yeah, Eddie, you know, we see, we do that a lot with the foundation in the Big Rock Tournament every year. And, and I'll tell you, it's those memories that are made right there that get me to come down here and do this, you know, as a volunteer, you as a volunteer, Henry as a volunteer, uh, all of our board of directors. Uh, and it, it just is very, very meaningful. There's, there's no two ways about it. Well, let's see what we got here, Crystal and Randy and Eddie. As uh, the Take a Kid Fishing entrusts its future to the Big Rock Foundation, $130,000. How about that? Uh, you know, obviously, to, to you guys and to your board, we're very grateful. And uh, thank you for entrusting it. Go on, move over there, Randy. That's, that's quite all right. Um, thank you for entrusting the Big Rock Foundation with these funds. And I know there's been a lot of discussion about how it's to be used. And you, you can rest assured that it will be, uh, will be, the money will be expended in the same, um, the same vein that with the same passion uh, that, that uh, each one of you have exhibited for the last 30 years for the Take a Kid Fishing Program. So we thank you very much and pass along our gratitude to all of your board members. We will, and thank you. Yes, yes, sir. All right, how about it? Take a Kid Fishing and trust in the Big Rock Foundation with its, uh, with its legacy. All right, guys, thank you so much. Stay with us here. Uh, you know, day five of the 64th annual Big Rock Tournament rolls on. Uh, we're ex lines are out of the water at 3 o'clock. Generally, we see some game fish 4.30 or 5 o'clock or so. Uh, and I'm sure Crystal's got some more uh, tricks up her sleeve, some more special guests. Uh, Henry be with us singing happy birthday, giving away a few things. Steve Goyon is going to visit with us. He's got some giveaways. So uh, enjoy it. Enjoy your afternoon here. Stick around. Uh, we'll be back with you here as uh, events unfold as we uh, head towards that 7 o'clock hour when the game fish scales will be closed.
country is wins this beach bag. Oh, right, we've got, right here. got someone up and at them. 914 pounds. Say it one more time. 914 or 15. I forgot which. 914 is correct. There you go. Wow, Congratulations. Right off That's the bat. That's a nice Parker Boats bag, too. It most definitely is. How about that? How about that? All right. And can anyone tell us the second heaviest fish in tournament history? Uh, Call in 2001. It's an Alan Jackson song, if that helps. There ain't no cure for the summertime blues is the boat. Ain't no cure for the summertime. Any lucky blues. guesses? 869. 869 is very close. It's in the 800s, a little bit lower. 832? That is almost right on the money. All right, let's go. All right, wait a minute. Let's go. How about this young lady right here? She wants to go. That's it. Congratulations. You went up Parker I'm Boat's sorry. Beach Towel. I'm sorry. She was going to guess. Oh, oh, right. oh, I'm sorry about that. What were you going to guess? 831. You were? Okay, well, I'll give you a prize then. I'll find something in there to give you. Hang on a minute. <laughs> if, she, if she was oh. going to say 831. No, you don't have to do that. I, I'm going to give her. Oh, that's oh. very nice. That was very that? kind of you. How about, come up here. How about that? You are so generous. What is your name? Charlotte. Where are you from, Charlotte? Um, Rocky Mount. Rocky Mount. You having fun at the Big Rock? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. You look like a pretty girl, and you're going to look good with that Parker Boat beach towel. Absolutely. And Parker Boats is our <laughs> Dolphin Winner Take All sponsor for the tournament for both the KWLA and the Big Rock Tournament. And right now, the Carolina time is in the lead for that level with a $527,000 payout. So we'll see if that's broken today or if they hold on to that first place spot. You guys stay tuned. All right. You want to do... Uh you guys going to do your birthday song over there? They're not even paying attention. We're talking to you guys. Are the you guys going to do your birthday song? Go get them, Carly. I'll talk to some of these folks. Where are you from? New York. New York? New York? Uh, you live there permanently? Yes. Now, when you come down here from New York, don't you just want to stay? Yes, I do. <laughs> well, we'd love for you to come and bring your money. Oh, I do. I do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know what they say, bring your money, leave your politics. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Where are you guys from? Uh, Raleigh area. What is the tribe? Is that, uh, is that William & Mary? That is, yep. Did you play baseball at William & Mary? I did not. I was a coach there as an intern for a couple of years. Oh, good for you. What's your name? Brian. And uh, where are you from? Clayton. Clayton? Mm -hmm. All right. I know where Clayton is. That's right outside Raleigh. You guys down on vacation? We are. All right, how about you guys? Where are you from? Deep Run. Deep Run. Woohoo! Woo Deep Run. That's uh, where my family is. Is that right? Yeah. Is that Lenore County? Yeah, yeah, awesome. exactly. Down in Deep no, Run. No, you were from Lenore my County. My stepdad lives there. My mom lived there now. Are you part of this clan? Yes, sir. What's your name? Mary Grace. Mary Grace, are you having fun? Yes, sir. Have you guys been to the Big Rock store? We have. Did you get that hat waiting in line? <laughs> you, oh, so she got that hat today. I know. There's been a line out the door That's since awesome. this morning. So thank you guys for shopping with us. All right. What is your name? Jacob. What is it? Jacob. J-A-C-O-B. Jacob. Oh, Jacob. Yep. Do you know you have paint on your nose? No, it's ice cream, actually. It's ice cream? <laughs> no one saw that. Nobody saw that. Does it? Nobody saw that, he said. <laughs> Does it taste better when it's on the tip of your nose? No, it always, it always tastes better. It always <laughs> just saving it for later. <laughs> are, they, are they ready for the birthday? Yep, I think we're going right, to give Dr. Jeff Buckle a call and sing to him a happy birthday. Right. He's got to, we got to make sure he's watching Big Rock TV. Oh, wait a minute. We're still waiting on the call. Okay. Let's that sounds see. good. All right, we're waiting to see what's going to come in. Uh, no blue marlin today, unfortunately, but it's about the time of day, Tommy, when the, uh, when the game fish come in, so hang around. We were here up the other afternoon. We saw a beautiful 130-pound yellowfin tuna. I got something to tell you. Biggest yellowfin tuna I've ever seen. All right, y'all. ready? Let's go ahead and sing it. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to <laughs> This is to Jeff. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jeff. Happy 
birthday to you. All right, this time we're going to sing it in E flat. Are you ready? Oh, I can't help you there. I think you were. Happy actually, birthday, Jeff. I think you were singing flat. <laughs> All right, that's great. Happy birthday to Dr. Jeff Buckle from NC State, my second favorite university. All right, everybody, hang around. We'll do some more giveaways here shortly. We're waiting for the game fish to start rolling in. All right, everyone, as uh, predicted here, about 4.30 or so, fishing uh, ends every day at 3 o'clock this year, and our first, uh, looks like our first outboard is here. We'll uh, be ready to welcome them to Big Rock Landing. Let's check that leaderboard here. You know, we've seen an awful lot of Wahoo this week. And uh, that biggest wahoo right now, it is a monster, 104.7 pound wahoo. Second place, 54.8. Uh, you know, that dolphin might be approachable. We saw it yesterday here. Captain Jay Blunt and the Carolina time, a 54.1 pound dolphin. Second place for the week, 32.2 pounds. And, of course, the tournament does pay daily prizes, $2,000 for the largest dolphin each and every day for first place. Uh, that is, uh, goes for the Wahoos and Tunas as well. And a $1,000 second place daily prize. So this is, in fact, a dolphin coming up the ramp here. Let's see what our boat name is here. All right, Tommy, this dolphin is coming from Flat Hungry to a 28-foot Sea Fox powered by twin Yamahas. All right, thank you, Carly. The, uh, one of the great aspects of the Big Rock Tournament that is, uh, I think, overlooked is you can enter this tournament in just about anything, and we've got 40 outboard-powered boats in the tournament this year. And uh, they have a separate category for them as well. 
And we'll check that leaderboard. As I recall, uh, Pelagic Hunter 2, who actually won the tournament about three years ago on an outboard-powered boat, beat them all. He's in the lead in the uh, outboard division and in the winner-take-all outboard division and is uh, on track, I believe, to pick up about $42,500, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, the outboards do a great job. Glad to have them here. They get back first, no doubt about it. Just like we see here, here's your 10-pound dolphin on the Flat Hungry 2. Marty Parker doing all the work today, our angler and captain. How about it? Takes the lead here in uh, in the daily division. Yeah. Love the boat names, too. But obviously, smiles all around. Great way to uh, kick us off today with a visit to Big Rock Landing. Come over here and talk to us for a second. Tell us, tell us who you are and, and where you're from. I'm Marty Parker. I'm from Wendell, North Carolina. Got a fabulous team that we put together. As a matter of fact, last night I had a couple of other people that bailed off because it being rough, but it was rough. We had to come back in through Ocracoke. It was rough. On a 28-foot boat, it was bad out there. <laughs> it was bad. But we had a good time. It's our first time doing the Big Rock. What I've listened to y'all for five years and loved it and not i'm just i'm ecstatic to be standing right here right now yeah uh marty a lot of history has been made right where we're standing and i know uh, we talk about it all the time what a thrill to be able to come in here and weigh a fish in the big rock tournament so uh thank you thank you for commenting on that hey look and you're in the lead right now too who knows hey listen it's rough out there you, you never can't to win for effort if y'all know what we went through <laughs> well a a absolutely uh marty parker thank you uh here on the flat hungry two a 10 pound dolphin obviously a thrill of a lifetime to be here and uh and uh, that picture as i've said many times this week that'll be on on somebody's wall tomorrow you can count on that so uh tough day it sounds like out there a little rough um, those big boats do come in handy when it gets rough, but we're always glad to see uh, see these outboard powered boats uh, entering the Big Rock tournament. All right, right on right on schedule. As I said, about 4:30. I'm sure that will be the first of many uh, dolphins and game fish that come into the scales, and of course, we'll be here with you on Big Rock TV to bring it all to you. Stay with us.
Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Rock TV. We're live worldwide. We've had a huge audience all week. And uh, last year we had about a million people watching us on uh, Big Rock TV. Does that make you nervous? That's almost as much as these guys over here have. Uh, I just don't think about it and you don't get it. (laughs) So welcome wherever you're watching from worldwide. It's great to have everybody here. A little bit of a slow day today on the dock since we haven't had any uh, blue marlin come in and it doesn't look like we're going to have any come in to be weighed today but tomorrow's the last day so come back and of course we may see you never know you may see a huge game fish we were out here day before yesterday and 131 pound yellowfin tuna came in boy if you've ever seen that and the uh, scales will be open till seven o'clock tonight to uh, weigh in the game fish Uh, let me introduce you all to uh, steve goyon Steve is, I finally got his name right after two years. That's the first time I've ever gotten it right. <laughs> Steve is an artist. I see somebody I know. How you doing, big dog? Uh, Steve is an artist, and he is commissioned each year to, uh, to do the logos for the Big Rock. Is this, which one have I got on? Is that last year? I think it's 2019. I think I have an older shirt on here, but every one of these logos that you see on the Big Rock shirts uh, like the one that, that I have on the back of my shirt. I thought I got that last year. I might have gotten that two years ago. But um, Steve is the artist who did it. Isn't that beautiful stuff? And we have a couple of prints right here. Steve, tell us about these. These are um, limited edition prints from my uh, collection. Uh, one is a 2019. And, and this one is the first time I was ever asked to be the big rock artist. It was back in 2007. And there's only 50 of these made. That's all there is in the edition. So uh, we're going to find a way to give away two of them today. All right. So let's find a way to do that. Is anyone having a birthday today? Today? Well, we know you're going to have a birthday. (laughs) We're hoping that you have a birthday. I'm asking if anybody's having a birthday today. Does anyone have a birthday tomorrow? This is unusual. Usually we can find somebody. You want me to go two days out? Is that what you want? Oh, one more day? Two days out? All right, let's give it to this gentleman. He's having a birthday in two days. Yeah. All right, let's go over here. All right, what is your name? My name's Kevin Frazier. I need to see your driver's license. Trust but verify. <laughs> trust but trust but verify. Oh, wait a minute. This is your gym card. Um, this says um, this says you were born in January. Well, you got to find something else. Uh, June nineteenth. June nineteenth. All right, congratulations. This is Kevin Frazier. Yeah, Fifty years old. Fifty years old. All right, you got a limited edition print. Which one would you like? Pick the one you like. That's the original, right, Steve? All right, show that to the camera. This is the original. You guys can look up on the big screen up there, and you can see it. This is the original print that Steve did for the, uh, how many years ago was that? 2007. Wow, he's been doing it since 2007. All right, let's give Kevin a hand, and let's give Steve a hand. All right, we got one more print. Happy birthday to you. I'm not going to sing happy birthday. I've been doing that all week, and my pipes are out. No more happy birthdays singing. All right, is anybody having an anniversary today? Oh, we are at an anniversary. Let's go over here. I feel like Al Roker. Remember how Al Ro- How are y'all doing? Good to see you. today? Happy, happy uh, Big Rock. This is, a, this is a great American, right? He's a buddy of mine. All right, you guys are having an anniversary? Yes, sir. Right. Prove it. Uh, how do you prove it? You got a Big Rock. <laughs> how many years? 16. 16. How many happy years? 16. Okay. I'm just. <laughs> All right, Steve, tell them about this print. Uh, okay, this print um, was done in 2019, and it's on Henry's back. And uh, what's really interesting about this piece, it took a life of its own. Besides the original being auctioned off that year to Big Rock Charity, it became a print that we use for the Big Rock Big Heroes when we honor them at the scales. So this is print number, it's a lower one, it's number 10 out of 50. I like that one. I like it so much. I bought the shirt. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. All right, now you get it. You got it. look. There's only 50 of these in the world, so you got to get that framed and put in your living room. Okay. 
happy birthday. I mean, happy anniversary to you. Happy an- Your birthday was yesterday? So if I'd asked one day earlier, you might have gotten both prints. I would have never done that. All right, I got a T-shirt to give away. I think, are you guys live on the TV yet? I want to, I'm going to photobomb. Hey, Tree, which channel do y'all want me to be on? I'm going to be on both channels. <laughs> All right. All right, I got a T-shirt from our radio station, 107.9 WNCT. Who listens to that station? I'm not giving this away then. There's not much enthusiasm. Who listens to this station? All right, okay, okay. All right, uh, I got a trivia question for you. This is one we've used before. You ready? I'm going to stand back so I can see the whole crowd. Now, don't yell at me. Just raise your hand if you know the answer. If you know the answer, I'm going to come to you and give you the T-shirt. If you, if you don't know the answer and I come to you, there's, we, have a, we have this electrotherapy shock thing that we use to shock you. And you also are going to owe me money. All right, here's the question. The Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament was originally 64 years ago, started right here in Moorhead City, but it was not called the Big Rock. What was it called? I got a man back here. I got a man back here. All right, you're second. You're second. I got a man back here. All right, get the electric prod ready. What was it called? Fabulous Fisherman. The Fabulous Fisherman Tournament. You are correct, sir. Can you wear an extra large? Yes, sir. I can make it work. You're going to have to squeeze in it, bro. <laughs> All right. All right. That's all we got for now. Whoa. Hello. There goes a battery. Uh, thank you, everybody, for coming out. Hey, don't forget to visit the Big Rock store across the street. Everything in there, the money goes to charity. Over $7.5 million have been given to charity since the tournament began. So that's what this is all about. That and great fishing here in Moorhead City. So thanks, everybody, for coming out. And uh, hang in there. We may be weighing some game fish. I know of at least one game fish I've been told is coming in shortly, and they say they got a good fish. So hang around. We'll be back. I used to work for Beasley slash Curtis. Oh, did you? Yeah. You work for TriWorks now? Yep. Good. Good for you. When did you leave Curtis? Uh, January. Okay. Great. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Mm. Well, good job, and I got your name right, fine. Well, it took me two years. You, have you ever been behind a mic before? <laughs>
You stay right here. Okay, we've got a Wahoo here. 26.3 pounds off the book, off the boat skirt puller. And it looks like the angler is Miles Miller. So that one will not crack the leaderboard. The uh, number two Wahoo right now is 54.8. And earlier this week, we had one of the biggest Wahoo I've ever seen come in at 104 pounds. So this is a nice one here. And uh, Carly, is there... Carly, is there day money for uh, Wahoo? Yep, two thousand. Two thousand dollars. Is this our first Wahoo of the day? It is. All right, so you guys are on the leaderboard for today, for the day money on Wahoo. So congratulations to the skirt puller and Miles Mitchell. Miles, where are you? Come over here. Let's hear about your catch. How was it out there? I hear it's been a little rocky. I know you can look at me and tell, man. I'm soaked. I'm drenched. <laughs> it, was a, it was a rough ride back in. That's all I can say. Yeah, I keep hearing that. They say that coming back in is pretty rough. Tell us about catching your fish. That's a nice fish. I ate a little five-inch little plug on mono leader. Can't believe we got him to the boat. It was just a freak out there, you know. We weren't thinking we were going to get him, but we got him. Give you a good fight? Uh, not really. He, he just kind of came on into the boat. <laughs> So it, it wasn't it wasn't a thirty minute fight on that no, Wahoo. Not at all. No, we kind of on a eighty we yanked him on in. So. Where are you from, Miles? I'm from Williamson, North Carolina. Well, congratulations! Thank you, man. you guys are in the lead for the day money sure. on the Wahoo, twenty six pounder, Tommy. We know there are more fish coming, so don't leave. We got some more fish coming. I 
All right, well, things are starting to heat up here. Got a traffic jam going on. Henry, that's always a good thing. We're going to get a look at another Wahoo here. Yeah. Now that's a Wahoo right there. We need to nice check the leaderboard fish. here. Obviously, we just saw the skirt puller in there, 26.3. Second place for the week is 54.8. Not quite certain that that's going to do it, but a nice, nice Wahoo there. Let's see who our boat is. All right, well, this is off the Pelagic here. Charter boat, there you go, Captain Mike Webb. Charter boat from here in Atlantic Beach. And this one is going to be 42.3 pounds. There you go. Let's hear it for Captain Mike and the crew of the Pelagic. Bumps the skirt puller there. Down to second place for the day. Not quite going to beat the Lady Diane's. 54.8 pound wahoo Henry, we've talked about uh talked about wahoos we've seen a lot of wahoos this week just a great great game fish great eating fish too i was gonna say that's a lot of that's a lot of good meals right there that's a good looking fish guys congratulations And you see the pelagic out here, this uh, seafoam green hull, Carolina boat. Mike Webb, just an outstanding fisherman. The man can catch a grouper too, by the way, if you ever want to go uh, grouper fishing. He's your man. Now you're talking. Grouper. That'd be good tonight. All right, here comes another dolphin here. I think this one came off of this absolutely gorgeous contender outboard that's tied up here in the way station. Oh, yeah, the mama tried. Here we go. These boys have made a couple of visits here this week. Dolphin that on the, uh, on the, the flat out hungry, the flat hungry, 10 pounds today. I think this is going to clip him. I'll say <laughs> this is a very nice 22 and a half pound dolphin. So let's hear it for the crew on the Mama Tried. Matt Aikens, our angler. Tyler Everett, our captain. You know, $3,000 uh, at stake every day for each game fish category. $2,000 for first place and 1000 for second There you go. I know that contender's a nice boat, but they look a little tired, a little rough today. Let's talk to, maybe let's talk to Tyler or Matt here. Oh, yeah, and we got to get the family in here, that's for sure. Yeah, we're going to get everybody in here to take a picture. Why not? Let's, let's hear it for the crew on the Mama Tried here. 22 and a half pound dolphin. Great job, fellas. Got the whole family here in the picture. How do y'all like the name of that boat? Mama Tried. I tell you, they run from this microphone, Henry, I swear. <laughs> like another dolphin. Yeah, coming another up. dolphin and another Wahoo coming up right behind them. Oh, that's a good size Wahoo yeah, right there. Another nice Wahoo. We've seen a lot of Wahoo this week. Yeah. And it does seem. Uh, does seem very unusual. We have maybe we'll have to talk to the scientist about that.
Okay, just that quick leaderboard check here. 10 pounds is our second place dolphin. On the flat hungry, Mama tried. You just saw him 22 and a half. All right, it's going to slide right in there. This one is 10.1 pounds. Bumping our friends off the flat hungry. Let's see, this is on the relentless. Our angler, Andrew Spain, and our captain, Jeff Watson. They've made a couple of visits here this week. I think that's our beard winner for the week for sure. Looking good there, Andrew Spain. This is quite a sight here, isn't it? American flags, nice breeze, big rock landing. Doesn't get much better than this. So the skirt puller brought in a 26.3 uh, pound Wahoo. That would be second place for day yeah, money, he's right? Gonna get a run for the money here, I think, in just a second. Nice looking Wahoo here. All right, here's your uh, your Viking demo boat, the 80 foot Viking. Really nice Wahoo again. At 26 point, 36 point six to move into second place there. Pelagic still hanging in there, 42 point three pounds. Yeah, 36.6. Now, look, Henry, it might have been rough today, but these boys had it made. On that 80-footer? Yeah, I would think so. Everybody coming in is saying coming back today was really, really rough coming back in. second tell us who you are and where you're from uh my name's sam peters i'm uh from savannah georgia um i own a fighting chair company called release marine and we produce a hook called stay stuck as well i was going to ask you if you sold any fighting chairs this week uh we did pretty good we did pretty good it's good crowd local sport and we've been with big rock a long time love it love the fans love all y'all y'all are great yeah, we certainly, I do want to pass along our thanks to you and the uh, fine folks at Release Marine for all your uh, participation. Tell us about today. Were you in a release chair? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, on the Viking demo, we had a chair there and had a little bite on the shotgun and turned out to be a Wahoo. How was the ride today, the weather today? Well, it was pretty bumpy, but it ain't too bad on an 80-footer. <laughs> we were just talking about that. I bet your ride wasn't too bad. Thank you, Sam Peters and uh, all the fine folks at Release Marine. Good job today. 36.6 pound Wahoo. Ah, and our way station sponsor. Thank you, Randy Gregory. Thank you, Sam. Appreciate it.
Henry, I'm not sure if there's any Wahoos left, but this is another nice one right here. I think he, a just ate, fish. he just ate too. Look at the belly on that one. Yeah. Be some good eating. All right, second place didn't hang around very long. This is a 39, 39.6 pound Wahoo. Let's see, caught on the wave paver, our, I believe, second place release division leader. Had a great day on Monday, caught and released four blue marlins. And that lead held up until today, the safari really cooked them today and yesterday i think five blue marlins and two sailfishes in the last two days for them this is a beautiful new boat bayless boat built right here in north carolina captain steve davis excuse me our angler steve davis russell sinclair our captain 39.6 pound wahoo on the wave paver All right, while we got a little break into action here, uh, we're over here with our friends from the Seamast Center at NC State University here in Moorhead City. They do a little research work on the stomach contents of all of our game fish. If you're eating dinner at home, I'm sorry. What are we expecting to find here, Dr. Paul? Tommy, so it looks like we got a big wahoo came to scales, and uh, most of these animals have uh, bullet mackerels in them, or some people call them friggin' mackerels, uh, mackerel that reaches uh, 12 inches total length maybe, and uh, really important diet item for wahoos and blue, blue marlins. Fascinating. We'll, uh, we're going to go deal with our fish, or I mean, excuse me, our boat that's backing into our slip. Save those at home that are watching or having dinner the uh, sight of a contents of a wahoo stomach <laughs> and at the same time let's welcome the ditch digger here uh, there you go brought their fan club with them right on ditch digger here a uh, viking express boat out of holden beach north carolina I believe a long time participant in the Big Rock Tournament.
Well, Henry has promised, you know, things are uh, things are heating up here. We got them coming in, in bags and boats. A lot of activity here in the last 30 yeah. minutes. Oh, wow. Yeah. An another nice wahoo. Another nice wahoo. Let's check that leaderboard here. 39.6 is that second place number on the wahoo. You saw it on the wave paver just a few minutes ago. The Pelagic still hanging in there today at 42.3. That's heavy. Yeah, that's a big one. <laughs> and, of course, uh, the Speculator. Wow, 104.7-pound wahoo. I mean, we're talking something three times the size of this one. Careful down there. Careful, careful, careful. Yikes. I thought he was going in the water. Might have been felt better if he went in the water. Might have. <laughs> Let's see what we got. That's, that's a nice wahoo. That was impressive, though. He kept his glasses on. <laughs> Forty-one point one pounds here. Oh wow, they're getting bigger. Going to bump the wave paver out of second place. Yeah. You know that is impressive. Forty-one pounds, and we've seen all these wahoo coming in, but it just makes you realize how impressive that hundred and four pounder was we saw coming here on yeah, Tuesday. No doubt. Or Wednesday, it was unbelievable. That was a yeah. big wahoo. And again, that was caught Henry on the speculator. Yeah. And, uh, of course, our second-place fish on the Lady Diane, 54.8 pounds. Y'all look at this fish. We had a Wahoo earlier this week more than double that size. It looked like a marlin hanging up there. Well, our angler, J.W. Wallace, has recovered nicely. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Ditch digger, doesn't that sound? That sounds like a name, George. From uh, could be from the WWE. All right, watch out! Don't well, fall congratulations off. Congratulations to uh, to JW Wallace and Captain James Price here on the ditch digger. A very nice forty-one point one pound wahoo <laughs> moves into second place in that daily division. Maybe you'll hold on, pick up a thousand bucks. Guys, fisher, fishermen will do a lot of things to keep a fish fresh. Check out, check out this bag they've got, and check out this wahoo. Oh, man. They wow. Just, they just keep getting bigger. Yeah, Henry, I think it, this, this, is your, this is your friend here, Henry. Who is this? Who is this? This is the April May here. Oh, this is the April May. Excuse me, Mr. Cameraman. Okay, there's your, uh, there, Lisa, there's your, there's your fish. That yeah, might be some day money April right May. there. Looks like our angler is Rick Van Cooteren. Rick bring his fan club with him. Rick's fishing solo today. Let's see what this is a really nice Wahoo. Fifty point two pounds. Wow, there it is. Wahoo. Yeah, let's hear it from him. Got a little <laughs> excitement here. Isn't it crazy? Every fish that's brought in has been about one to two pounds heavier yeah. than the last one. So 50.2 pounds. Gave the Lady Diana a run for the money there, but not quite going to crack that second place for the weak leaderboard. But they do move into first place here. Maybe they'll pick up a couple thousand bucks for, uh, for their Wahoo. Here, come on. You can stand right here with me. Come on. Look right here. Yeah, smile. Smile. 
Henry, you, I think you know some of these guys. Grab one of them real quick. Hey, Rick, 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 come over. Let's get, uh, let's get, this is the angler right here. Yeah, come over here. Come on back over here. How you doing? Uh, Rick Van Kutren, where are you from? Moorhead. Moorhead. Uh, tell us about your fish. Oh, it was a great catch, man. It's fun. Like, awesome people, man. Awesome crowd. Joe and his boys are they're, they're the best, man. Good, good group to fish with. Best All right. People. That's for sure. Best people. Yeah. That one gave you a little fight, I bet, didn't he? Uh, I thought it was going to be bigger. You thought it was going to be bigger? <laughs> That's pretty big. 50 feet. It kind of gave up a little bit. It gave up a little bit. <laughs> What's your name? Patrick Johnson. Patrick Johnson. That name sounds familiar. Is this your family over here? Yep, yep. They've been waiting for you a long time to get in here. I know. But it wasn't going any faster in the no-wake zone. <laughs> How was it coming back in? Way back in was a little better than the way out this morning. It wasn't bumpy by no means, but it wasn't pretty either. We keep hearing it's a little rough coming back in, but you guys said better coming back than it was going out this morning. About the same either way. It's a little better in the following sea. Congratulations. Look like you guys might be into some money here. But that's a nice fish, 50-pound Oahu. Congratulations. Thank you, man. Thank you. I appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely, yeah. Good to see you. Thank you. Yeah, well, let's hear it there for the uh, April-May. Taking the lead here in the Daily Wahoo Division. A very, very nice 50.2-pound Wahoo. Angler v Rick Van Kutren, Captain Tom Brewer, right here on the Moorhead City waterfront. All right. Time check here, 5.30 or so. Of course, uh, the game fish scales will be open until 7 o'clock. And uh, those of you who are down here on the waterfront, we want to thank you for being with us. It's a beautiful day. It's a, boy, it's a scorcher, too. It's warm down here. Uh, reminds me, you can probably go see the uh, Parker Auto Group people right in front of me, right behind you. I think they've been giving away bottles of uh, cold water here all week long. And uh, take a moment and go visit some of our sponsors here. They'll relieve you of a dollar or two. And, of course, you need to go visit the Big Rock store uh, right over behind the crowd here on the Moorhead City waterfront and all those profits from the sale of the Big Rock T-shirts, hats, and all kinds of stuff over there, good-looking stuff, too. Go straight to uh, go straight to charity here, helping the Big Rock do its charitable work here in Moorhead City and Carter County. So uh, more to come here, I'm quite certain. Things uh, continue to unfold as day five of the 64th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament rolls on here. We'll be with you. The scales will close at 7 o'clock. Fishing again tomorrow from 9 to 3 Give the tournament committee a chance to uh, tabulate all the uh, catches, releases, and checks in preparation for a big awards banquet here under the tent on Sunday morning. So stay with us. Enjoy yourselves. If you're here on the Moorhead City waterfront, those of you who are with us at home, stay with us too. We'll be with you as things unfold here on day five of the 64th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. All right, back over here with Cap, uh, excuse me, Captain Paul, with, with Dr. Paul from NC State University. Oh, we got some calamari. Yeah, we got some squids, Tommy. These, uh, these critters are hard to identify unless you can uh, you actually take out the beak of the squid, and there's a whole guide we got back in the lab that you can identify these to species. So, yeah, we got a couple calamaris here, and uh, 
They're pretty fresh, and they look like they're eating within an hour or so of this uh, critter getting caught. Now, this this came from another Wahoo, I take it. Yeah, this came from that Wahoo that just, uh, just hit the scales, 40-something. So, Paul, the difference, that we, we there's a striking difference between the diets of the three game fish. Uh, you know, the tunas, the wahoos, the dolphins. Uh, we've seen an awful lot of wahoos today. Tell us typically what we might find in the stomach of a tuna and then in the stomach of a dolphin. So, Tommy, uh, tunas are mesopelagic predators. They consume a lot of flying fish when they're at the surface of the ocean, but they also consume a lot of things like we see here in the board um, right here from this, this wahoo. They, they consume a lot of stuff in the midwater column, like the squids and so forth. Wahoos are more at the surface, and then dolphin fish, their, their diet's almost exclusively comprised of stuff right at the surface of the ocean. They feed a lot in that sargassum, that, that floating mat of algae that you often see off times when you're uh, offshore fishing. So they're up top. The, the yeah, and they will, a dolphin will eat just about anything, will it not? The swimming trash can of the ocean, they'll eat just about anything. So they love it all. I don't know how they still taste so good after all that, but uh, uh, excellent table fare, all of, all of these game fish. Paul, again, thank you for sharing your knowledge with us. One, one quick question, though. Um, we uh, This might be something that you know or not. An awful lot of Wahoo this year. It seems unusual for me. Is, is uh, any explanation for that? I don't have an explanation off the top of my head, Tommy, but that, yeah, that's a good observation. I don't have an explanation off the top of my head. It could be just due to the meander of the Gulf Stream this year. The Gulf Stream is doing something different and bringing those wahoos uh, up in the fishing zone where they're all fishing this year. All right. Thank you, Paul. Appreciate it. All right. Thank you again for all your work you, work you do here, too. All right. As we've got another uh, dolphin making its way up the ramp here to Big Rock Landing. Looks like the make it happen is our boat. There you go. Let's hear it for the make it happen. Yep, and Tommy, they've weighed a 16-pound dolphin earlier this week and a 5.3-pound dolphin yeah, as well. Yeah, this is at, uh, another one of our outboard competitors here, it looks like. There's a really good-looking Rabalo sitting here in the weigh station, I think, is them. I think this is going to be their heaviest fish yet. Yep, Zach Murray here, our captain looks like. Billy Johnson, our angler. And a, we've got it right, 17.1 pounds on their dolphin. So that's your cue to cheer over there. Yep, they're sliding into second place, kicking out relentless 10.1 pound dolphin. This fish could potentially be worth $1,000. Well, I wonder if we ought to go talk to Hey, Anyone from the family of Make It Happen? There you go. Where are you guys coming from? We're from Nashville, North Carolina, Wilson, North Carolina. That's awesome. How far of a drive is it for you guys to come down here? About two hours. Awesome. Well, thank you guys for being here. Is this y'all's first tournament? Yes. Yep, very first one. That's awesome. Well, thank you guys for being here and being a part of the record-breaking tournament. Yeah, very nicely done. They've, uh, the Make It Happen has made a couple of appearances here and uh, scoring one at the moment, sliding into second place in that daily dolphin division. As Carly said, maybe going to pick up a thousand bucks, get some of their money back, hopefully. But more importantly, they get a uh, get to tread here on these uh, hallowed boards of the Big Rock Landing. Again, what a thrill it's got to be. We heard it yesterday, Captain Ashley Forrest on the breakwater. I came in and weighed in a blue marlin, and he said it was a lifelong dream to be able to weigh in a blue marlin here at Big Rock Landing in the Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. And I think that sentiment is shared by uh, an awful lot of the anglers, whether they be uh, 
weighing a blue marlin or a game fish. Got to be a great thrill to back in here and uh, enjoy the crowd and the scene, the whole thing. What a great experience. Thank you guys for being with us here. We are rolling on to that 7 o'clock hour, quarter to 6 here. And uh, hopefully we'll have a little more to show you here as things uh, unfold on day 5 of the 64th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. There is the Bullwinkle just offshore of Big Rock Landing. Looks like they've offloaded a dolphin onto the chase boat. Gives us a chance to talk about the rules again real quick. The Big Rock Tournament rules say that you must unload your fish from the boat that caught it, or you can transfer it to the chase boat, and they will bring you the fish in the angler ashore for the weigh in so uh, we certainly want to give a big thanks to Les Collins and his entire crew at Collins Inc there in Smithfield for providing us our chase boat and for uh, being a sponsor of the tournament along with uh, the Yamaha company our chase boat of course powered by that not very nice Yamaha outboard so here comes uh, the crew of the Bullwinkle Looks like down from uh, Dover, Delaware. Boats uh, Carly up and down the East Coast come to Moorhead every year. L literally, you are at the center of the sport fishing universe when you're standing here. Absolutely. Around the world, the uh, eyes of the sport fishing world are focused on Moorhead City for the six days of the Big Rock Tournament. Absolutely, and Bullwinkle is a beautiful 57-foot Spencer, a custom boat built up in Wanchese, North Carolina, and the captain is actually the son of Paul Spencer, Dan Spencer, so we're really excited to have them participating in the tournament with us, and there's a lot of beautiful boats fishing. All right, it's going to have to be 17.1 pounds to bump out the make it happen, it looks like, if we're up to date here. That thing just... <laughs> All right, a 20.7 pound dolphin here on the Bullwinkle. And it's going to bump the make it happen right out of second place here for that daily prize. If we can keep our cheat sheet up. Yeah, Robert Harris, our angler here. And of course, Carly said Daniel Spencer is our captain. Running one of the boats they built themselves right up the beach there in Juan Cheese. Yeah, jump in there and get your picture taken. Get everybody in there. The Bullwinkle, as we said, coming down from Delaware to be a part of the 64th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. And moving into that second place, Daily Dolphin Division. Yep, and Tommy, earlier this week, Bullwinkle released a Blue Marlin on the first day of the tournament.
For those of you that are interested, I would highly recommend that you download the Big Rock app. Carly is uh, checking it for us as we go along. There is tons of information there. You can follow uh, your favorite fishing teams and uh, be notified when something happens on board their boat. It's a great way to keep up with the Big Rock tournament comings and goings. And, of course, uh, you know, while you're here visiting us, certainly want you to enjoy yourselves, have dinner at one of the great restaurants here up and down the Moorhead City waterfront. And of course, go visit us at the Big Rock store right over there across the street from Big Rock Landing. All the profits from the sale of uh, items there at the Big Rock shop go to help support our local charitable efforts. Last year alone, the tournament was able to give away a record-setting $1 million in charitable contributions uh, to worthwhile charities here and uh, worthwhile charities and organizations here in uh, Moorhead City and Carter County and all of eastern North Carolina. So enjoy yourselves here this afternoon. I'm sure we'll have more to come. We will be with you here as it all unfolds. Scales, of course, open until 7 p.m. tonight. Well, here let's let's uh, let's check with Dr. Paul here uh, one more time. Um, more interesting stomach contents here. Two a two gram dolphin, two gram dolphin that was uh, sixty seven millimeters long, so two and a half inches long, two gram dolphin. And one of the things that we think of scientists here in the U.S. South Atlantic that might regulate the population of the little dolphins becoming big catchable dolphins is big catchable dolphins because one of the things we think might regulate the population of dolphin fish is cannibalism. So that's what we see here. We, we have a, a cannibalized little dolphin fish. And got some more interesting things in here too. Yeah, this is a little file fish. Real common item in the sargassum, those algal mats in the, uh, out in the Gulf Stream, and this is a little file fish. Pretty common uh, diet item in the dolphin fish uh, diets here in the, uh, at the Big Rock Tournament. So, Paul, give us an approximate age of each one of these species here. I don't know enough about life history of filefish to tell you uh, the age of this one, Tommy. I, I know nothing about their longevity and their growth trajectories. However, this dolphin fish is probably in order of, uh, it was probably hatched uh, probably within the last uh, two weeks. They grow really fast, and this is probably, uh, probably hatched sometime in early June. Gotcha. And, and this came out of the 20.7 pound dolphin, correct? How old do you think that dolphin is? A year old. One year old. So it grew from, from two and a half inches to 21 pounds in a year. In a year. Yeah. And they do that by eating their young, right? <laughs> you got it. <laughs> And, and Paul, yeah. while we've got you and while we're talking about age, I read a study published by you guys a couple years ago saying something about the comparison of blue marlin age versus dolphin age. So could you tell us a little bit about that age gap in between the fish that are brought to the scales? Yeah, Carly. Um, so blue marlin uh, are anywhere between roughly, they're very hard to age, but they're roughly between 10 and 20 years old, the, the marlins that are weighed here at the tournament. And dolphin fish, the biggest dolphin fish, like Captain Jay Blunt brought in the Carolina time yesterday, that, that so far winning dolphin fish, um, is probably about two years old. So uh, the, the maximum longevity of dolphin fish is, is three to four years old. The maximum longevity of blue marlins is somewhere between 20 and 30 years old. That's very interesting. And how do you guys age those fish? A lot of times we age the fish with something called otoliths, and otoliths is uh, they're, they're one of the um, the ear bones in the um, in the the inner ear of these critters. And you can take a cross section of a fish ear bone, and you can age it very um, very much like you would age a tree. You cut a cross section of that, like we cut a cross section of the tree at the trunk, and look at the the rings and look at those growth rings. The the, the rings are deposited either on the daily basis. And they're readable on a daily basis. They're also readable on an annual basis. 
Wow, that's very interesting. I don't think that two gram dolphin is gonna make our leaderboard, but it's still a very interesting find. So thank you guys for sharing that with us. Yeah, Carly, again, the, uh, we're, we're just, we're so fortunate to have uh, this scientific community here in Moorhead City. Not only the researchers at NC State, University of North Carolina, uh, Duke University, uh, NOAA, all, we have a huge concentration of scientists here, marine scientists here, uh, the largest concentration uh, anywhere in the world other than uh, Woods Hole. And uh, Paul, it does a great job throwing in those science lessons for us. I, I find it actually fascinating. It's really I do interesting. Too. Yeah. yeah, it's so neat to see what they're eating. And while we're talking about research and stuff like that, one of the Big Rock tournaments, charities, the Tag a Giant Foundation, they come down here every winter and tag giant bluefin tuna to study. Just like we do blue marlin this year, they study where they travel to. Um, how deep they go, what temperatures they swim in. So it's really cool to see the research that is done either at the Big Rock Tournament here at the Scales or year-round through our foundation. Yeah, you know, it's, it's part of our conservation efforts, no question about it. The other thing that's really interesting, tell us about the IGFA Great Marlin Race, another, uh, another scientific but education and conservation uh, component of the Big Rock Tournament. Yeah, absolutely. So last year in 2021, the Big Rock Tournament partnered with the IGFA, that's the International Game Fish Association, to tag, deploy satellite tags on Blue Marlin. So the generosity of our participants, we had about seven boats purchase those satellite tags, and then they set out to deploy them during the tournament, which only a couple of them did, and one of them that stuck the whole full cycle of 240 days, tried the fish all the way off the coast of North Carolina to up north a little ways and then across the Atlantic Ocean off the coast of Africa off of Cape Verde. So it's very interesting to see they were actually here earlier this week. So you guys can go back on our YouTube channel and watch the interview with the representative from the IGFA there. And this week, Tommy, we've actually had two of those satellite tags deployed from the crew on the Waste Knot and the Stream Weaver. So we're really appreciative of the participants that engage with us and are so aware of the conservation efforts that, yeah, that we're hoping to make and here. And that catch and release ethic is is big here. 188 total releases so far uh, this year, Carly. Uh, yeah. The overwhelming majority of whom swim away healthy. Uh, we saw we saw evidence of that on day one. The mm -hmm. blue marlin caught that had a circle hook in its mouth and and it had been caught recently it looked like so absolutely uh, so that catch and release ethic is something that we promote here there's an awful lot of money available in the release categories um re really a substantial amount yeah. our winner is going to right now in the uh, in one of those release divisions is looking at taking home one hundred and eighty six thousand dollars it's not three and a half million, but he's not going to turn it down either. So no, the, uh, the catch not. and release part of the fleet is great, and, it, um, it and really we promote is. that. We promote that a lot here. Yep. And the Team Safari, we've got a really cool video posted up on our YouTube. We'll try to get it played right here in the live stream and up here on the big screen so you guys can see just what it looks like to release a blue marlin. In in the moment, it's hard for boats to decide, you know, should we take this fish to the scales or should we set it free for another day? And we're really lucky to have a great fleet that is willing to take the time to measure it or, you know, catch and release. And we have about a 96% release rate right now, maybe even higher after today's yeah, fishing. Right. So. It does remind me, those of you at home, click that subscribe button uh, on the YouTube channel and uh, like us and follow us on our Facebook page. Carly, I think Josh told me we picked up well over 10,000 new followers uh, as of about two days ago. So uh, Absolutely. Follow us on all social media at Big Rock Tournament on YouTube, the Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. We've got a lot of cool videos, right. a lot of back behind the scenes kind of stuff. So let's check out this boat coming in. It looks like a Jarrett Bay boat. Yeah, let's welcome the smoke show here to Big Rock Landing. There you go. Looks like they've got some fans in the crowd. Okay. 
All right, guys, this is a beautiful 36-foot Jarrett Bay boat. Looks like they have a couple junior anglers on board. Maybe we can learn some more about that here in a minute. Yeah, Carly, and well, before you turn that off, do the commercial for uh, for your tournament here. You've got a, you've got another tournament coming up, the Big Rock Kids Tournament. Absolutely. So all of you guys tuning in and here with us today, we'll be back at the scales July 13th through 16th for the second annual Big Rock Kids Billfish Tournament. That's a full catch and release tournament hosted here by the Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament, and it's for anglers of all ages, but kids definitely recommended. Anyone 16 and under is classified as a big rock kid and so they come here release billfish just like the ones you see hanging from the scales and weigh dolphin last year we had about 150 game fish weighed in so it's a lot of excitement a lot of smiling faces and it really gets kids hooked on life with fishing We've got a lot of junior anglers on board. All smiling faces, let's see some waves. Okay, this is an 8.3 pound dolphin on the smoke show. I'm pretty sure we've got a junior angler here. So let's, let's hear it for our junior angler, Emerson Dew. There you go, some big rock love to Emerson. <laughs> Folks, it's very appropriate. These young anglers are the future of our sport. Look at the smile on her face. That really says it all. I'm joined here by Ethan from Pogies Fishing Center down in Swansboro. Ethan, tell us how many junior anglers you have on board and what it means to take along those young young kids with you. So uh, this year we got five on board and it's just a good time. We do it for them. Most of them have been to our other kids camps with us before. So that's it's, been, it's been great so far. Awesome, and I think you guys were here earlier this week with another junior angler, is that correct? Yeah, Mally down in the boat. I think she was one of the first junior angler dolphins to weigh earlier in the week. So. Yeah, well, we're excited to have you guys back here all the way from Pogies down in Swansboro, and thank you for teaching these kids and passing along the love of fishing for them. Thank you all. Lots of smiles on the 36-foot Jarrett Bay Smoke Show. All right, guys, while we wait for the next boat, let's check in with Jarrett Bay and see if they're willing to do a giveaway. Tiny but mighty, we've got another dolphin hitting the scales. Mighty. 
All right, guys, I'm joined here by Margaret to do a Jarrett Bay giveaway. By now, y'all know the drill. The first person to raise their hand with the correct answer wins these awesome goodies from Jarrett Bay Boatworks, our major sponsor. Margaret, what's the question? What is the name of the Jarrett Bay that received the very first pair of C-32B Caterpillar engines in the United States? Any guesses? It's a beautiful Jarrett Bay boat competing in this tournament, not smoke show. Can we let Tommy? Oh, oh, we've got someone over here that knows the answer. What was what was her answer, ma'am? Yep, the Iron Leader, that is correct. The Iron Leader received the very first pair of Caterpillar C-32B engines, and it is a rocket ship. Thanks for playing, y'all. All right, here you go. The Smoke Show weighing in another dolphin, another junior angler. A little bit bigger than... Uh, than his fellow crew members there. But of course, always great to see young people show up here at Big Rock Landing. And we will definitely take the time to celebrate them and their catches. Maybe a uh, future Big Rock winner right here on the Smoke Show. Hopefully they'll be back for Big Rock Kids again July 13th through the 16th. All right, well, let's say goodbye to the smoke show here from Virginia Beach, Virginia. That hearty crew of junior anglers, we hope to see them back again for the Big Rock Kids Tournament coming up in July. Another thing that you do not want to miss, uh, the kids are every bit as hearty as, uh, as the adults here when it comes to... Uh, catching and releasing billfish and uh, bringing game fish to the scales here at Big Rock Land. And that's coming up in July. Of course, we'll be with you to uh, on Big Rock TV, right? Bringing you all the action from the Big Rock, the second annual Big Rock Kids Tournament, Carly. I know, it's exciting. And in case you guys missed it last year, we were joined by some amazing co-hosts for Big Rock TV. Some junior anglers themselves helped Tommy out, so hopefully I'll get out of this job and they can slide in. Here comes another dolphin up the uh, gangway here. Just reminds us to check that 20.7 uh, pound dolphin off the Bullwinkle is in our second place spot. And uh, the mama tried there in first 22 and a half pounds. Yep, and Tommy, this job site, they are part of the Big Rock Big Hero fleet, and they do have a hero, Darren, on board, who released his... Let's give it up for Darren. <laughs> yeah, and Carly, Carly, tell us about Big Rock Big Hero, too. Absolutely. So Big Rock Big Hero, presented by Salt Life, is one of the initiatives from the tournament to give active duty military men and women the opportunity to compete alongside the best in the business. So we are so thankful for Salt Life and our fleet of Big Rock Big Hero boats that give these heroes the opportunity to fish. And, of course, the job site here, a long time participant in the Big Rock Tournament, the Farrier family from Greenville. 
uh, just one of our biggest supporters and have always been uh, very gracious to volunteer time on their boat and in their cockpit for a big rock, big hero. And of course, I think uh, Steve Goyon has a uh, has a memento for our big rock, big hero here as we weigh in a 19 pound dolphin on the top shelf. Yep. E.W. Tibbs, our angler, Brian Felton, our captain. Not quite Not, enough for second yeah, place, that, but that still 20 good point, dinner. Twenty point seven pounder. Ooh. But this one, uh, this one's going to do a little damage here. All right. George throwing around like cordwood up here. But Carly, uh, you, you know, we really need to take time to, uh, to celebrate and thank our heroes who give of themselves, who volunteer in all of the uh, branches of the armed service giving us the freedoms that we enjoy here in the greatest country in the world. And it is, uh, yes, sir. All right, Tommy, and while we wait for this weight of the fish, I'm joined here by Darren's wife. Tell us how you feel today. Um, I'm very excited for Darren. They went out on Monday, and um, he was super excited to have a text on Wednesday asking him to come back today. So um, he said he... Uh, they had a more adventurous day today, so I know he's super excited. Thank you. Yeah, and uh, boy, the leaderboard has moved around here on the job site. Drew Yates, a 32.2-pound dolphin, our angler. Uh, there, of course, we mentioned the Farrier family, Captain Bill Farrier, a longtime participant in Big Rock events. Great friend of the Big Rock Tournament. Great fisherman. Always seem to be making some noise here during Big Rock events. And, of course, uh, just very, very generous with their time and um, space in that cockpit to volunteer to take one of our Big Rock Big Heroes. They've been doing it every year. All right, guys, so you can see Darren holding the Blue Marlin release flag. He had an awesome day offshore for the Blue Marlin. Hey, hey, first of all, Bill Ferrier, thank you so much for uh, being so generous with your time. Tell us, uh, tell us why you step in there and do this every year. Uh, I don't know, Tom. It's just such a great cause for the Big Rock to sponsor the Big Rock Hero Program. We're just a small part of it and just one way to show our appreciation to these uh, the men and women that serve our country every day. So it was a pleasure to have him on board Monday and we invited him back today and he got it done with a Blue Marlin. How about it, were, were you the angler on the Blue Marlin? I was, yes. How about it, tell us all about it. <laughs> it was my first time Marlin fishing. We went out Monday, uh, didn't have that much luck, but came back today and got one on, I mean, we got it next to the boat and released it, but I mean, it was a lifetime experience. When you, uh, I know Monday might have been a little disappointing, still a great experience, I'm sure. What did you think when you said, man, I got a text and I get to go, honey, I get to go again. I was, did you have to ask permission? <laughs> no, no, no. I was ecstatic. It was, uh, it was awesome. And then just capped off the entire week right here. So. You ever seen a blue marlin dancing behind a boat before? How, how does that tell tell these people how that feels? What does it look like? Uh, it was amazing. It was awesome. I've never seen one up close. I mean, I, I've seen them here, weighed at the scales, but never in person fighting. It was it was a a dream come true. What do you think? You, you stand here, the American flags flying. Uh, you, you know, it's got to feel pretty daggone special, doesn't it? Yeah, it feels amazing. I I just can't think. Captain Bill, enough, and the crew, everybody. I mean, I had a great time. Perfect. 
Well, it's, it is our great pleasure to host you and your fellow Big Rock Big Heroes every year uh, to give you an experience like this, something that we hope that you'll never forget. And it is a small price to pay for us to say thank you, to have you here. Thank you for everything that you do so that we can enjoy the freedoms that we enjoy here in the United States of America. Let's give it up. Better than that. we got to do better than that. Yes, of course. Thank you, Darren, for your service. And before you leave, we have our tournament artist, Steve Goyon, to present one of his original art pieces for you. Well, hey there, Darren. I have to say it's, it's an honor to meet you. Oh, thank you. And um, on behalf of the Big Rock and Salt Life and myself, I want to thank you and all the other service men and women who truly allow us the freedom to fish. If it wasn't for people like Darren and our service men and women, I don't think we'd be here today. So I want to thank It's a big, big thank you. I also like to present you. You're very welcome. Uh, back in 2019, I was commissioned by the Big Rock to create this very um, unique piece of art, and it became the, the branded print for Big Rock Big Heroes. Uh, just a small little memento of your day. Uh, I hope for years to come you can look up at the wall and it reminds you of everything that went on today. And again, it's my honor and thank you so much for all you do. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys, and now we're going to grab some photos of Darren and his wife. What an incredible day, thanks to the Farrier family. All right, the Big Rock Tournament is so much more than just a fishing tournament. And it, again, it is our great pleasure to uh, be able to celebrate our heroes, give them a chance to uh, experience something like this, and uh, say thank you for their, uh, their sacrifice and service that they give so freely to, uh, to this great country. No, and Tommy, as job site prepares to leave Big Rock Landing, it reminds me of the 61st annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament whenever they brought a 53.7 pound dolphin here to the scales that earned them over $360,000. And that 53 pound dolphin was caught by a junior angler and the Farrier family are legends here for having young anglers participating and winning the tournament. So we want to thank them for their contribution, not only taking our heroes, but taking along junior anglers. All right, well, let's say goodbye here to the job site. Captain Bill Ferrier and our Big Rock Big Hero Let's hear it for them here as they leave, please. There you go. Great job to the Farrier family and the job site.
All right, guys, Mac 900 is getting ready to back in here to Big Rock Landing, and they were the Gregory Pool Marine first release of the day, earning a quick $5,000. As Carly said, uh, the Mac 900 picked up 5,000 bucks early this morning. You see the uh, that white flag on the outrigger with the blue marlin on it, turned upside down, signifying a blue marlin release today, a blue marlin catch and release, I should say. Yeah, so let's welcome the Mac 900 here to Big Rock Landing. All right, got another very nice dolphin here off the Mac 900. Yeah, Tommy, our current second place fish to beat is off the Mama Tried, and it's 22.5 pounds is the weight to beat. Yeah, and I guess we should say the job site jumped there in the first place. We were so... Uh, Focused on our big rock, big hero, the leaderboard change there on the job site. This is a 25.1 pound dolphin. That uh, leaderboard changes one more time, Carly. Bumps the mama tried out of that second place spot. You go the Mac 900. Joe Mercurio, our angler, Captain James Duncan. I think this is one of those 38 Vikings. Really good looking, good looking, nice little boat. Oh boy. And again, Tommy, if this fish stays in second place, they're taking home $1,000 for this dolphin and $5,000 for that first release of the day. Yeah, Carly, you know, there are lots and lots and lots of ways to win money in a Big Rock tournament. Uh, you think about it, those daily prizes first and second for every game fish five thousand dollars that was won here early this morning uh, by the mac 900 all you got to do is be the first one doesn't have to be a blue marlin either Any, a sailfish will do it anything will do it anything with a bill uh that first one and we want to thank uh, gregory pool and caterpillar for that of course uh, they're very generous again help make the big rock tournament what it is a uh, long 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 time sponsor of the big rock And the boys on the Mac 900 cashed in today. Yeah, and if I remember correctly, I believe these boys are first-time participants of the Big Rock Tournament. So to be first-time participants and also win some money, that's, that's quite the accomplishment. Yeah. And looking good doing it, too. Pretty little boat here. So 
That's not a bad way to end the week of fishing. These guys have fished all four of their days, so this was it for them, and that's quite the wrap-up for them. Carly, I shortchanged them on the length here. This is a 46 Viking. Beautiful little boat. Obviously led them to a great day of fishing. Good job, Captain. All right, well, let's say goodbye to the Mac 900 here. Great job today, fellas. Thanks for visiting Big Rock Landing. All right, guys, off season is coming back to the scales with the captain, mate, angler combo, the legend, dairy lady, Abby Jones. Abby is back at the scales, but without her three Irish wolfhounds. Abby, come on, bring them back. The crowd wants to see them. All right, guys, Abby is bringing us a couple decent dolphin. Again, that second place weight to beat is 25.1. Let's 25. get the huge 1. one out. In case you missed Tommy's joke, he just said, let's bring the huge one out.
All right, you guys, you saw Mitchell here the other day. It was his first time offshore, and he weighed in a dolphin, and he has returned to the scales with his buddy Mitchell, who is also a junior angler. Both of these boys are 15 years old, coming all the way down from Maryland to compete in the Big Rock Tournament with Abby Jones. 40 out there today, too. They did great. And it was their first time offshore here in the Big Rock Tournament. So to weigh two fish in one week, that's quite the accomplishment. Right. Their first, first time offshore, getting to go to Big Rock twice, backing in. We're pretty happy for them. As you should be. That's quite the accomplishment. Do what? That's exactly right. I put a ball there, and they get in my boat, baby. Get in the boat. Abby, I got to tell you, I'm really curious about how you manage your dogs offshore. How do you do that? Well, with less people on the boat. Gotcha, gotcha. So they go, actually, they like it, um, the air conditioning. They're in, they're in just like the kids. They go up and they sleep in the air conditioning until we catch fish. That's awesome. In case you guys missed it, Abby has three ginormous Irish wolfhounds, and they are beautiful. 200 pounds, bees. Wow, so that's 600 pounds worth of dog on her boat, and she takes him offshore and lets him go fishing with her every day, so that's, that's really exciting. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. They love it. They love it. Shadow's a beast. She'll actually jump, but she'll catch him. Stormy wants to swim with the dolphins. Shadow wants to kill everything. Will they try to get the gaff? If you've got one on the gaff, will they try to jump at the fish? Not anymore. Learn the lesson? She caught a wahoo tail one day. Thank Ooh. God it was the tail. Thank God it was the tail. Yeah, if she would have gotten the teeth. <laughs> <laughs> that would have gotten her. That would not have been good, no. but that's awesome. Well, thank you guys yeah, so much. Mahi he today? We have had a lot of mahi today, probably about 10 or 15 or so. Job site just brought in a Big Rock Big Hero, so uh, they did have a couple kids on board, but it wasn't a junior angler. It was one of the Big Rock Big Heroes. So. Awesome, awesome. It was a lot of excitement. Heroes. Thank you so much. Thank you, Abby. All right, well, let's say goodbye to uh, Captain Abby and the off-season here and her junior anglers. Always great to see them here at Big Rock Landing. She's becoming a regular with her junior anglers. All right, good job, Cat Mamie in the off season. All right, so a quick leaderboard check here. Looking at the Dolphins for today. You just saw the Mac 900 at 25.1 pounds, that second place Dolphin. And of course, uh, 
Right in front of them was the job site with our Big Rock Big Hero and a 32.2 pound off a very nice dolphin. Of course, the other story of the day besides our Big Rock Big Hero catching a blue marlin is the April May, little over a 50 pound Wahoo and the Pelagic uh, charter boat. Both of these guys charter boats here uh, locally. The Pelagic with a 42.3 pound uh, Wahoo today. Looking at the Game Fish leaderboard for the week, the Speculator still in first place in the Wahoo Division, 104.7 pounds. The Lady Diane, a close second at 54.8. And, of course, you saw it yesterday, Captain Jay Blunt and the Carolina Time decked a 54.1-pound Dolphin, uh, taking the lead in that winner-take-all category, $527,000 available in that winner-take-all category. All right, guys, and right now we have the husband-wife team backing into Big Rock Landing for, I believe, the third or fourth time this week. So let's give them a warm welcome. This is the Ocean Stinger out of Wrightsville Beach. And Carly, the Ocean Stinger with a blue marlin release there. Tommy, they fought their fish for a couple hours, so I'm looking forward to getting the inside scoop from Natasha or the angler themselves if it wasn't her. And I've got to say something sweet about the Ocean Stinger. They are an amazing crew. Yesterday they brought all of our staff some sweet treats from Nothing Bunk Cakes and fed us, so we are very appreciative for all of their generosity and for fishing with us. We got us a wahoo and a dolphin hitting the deck. Okay, looking at a 21.6 pound Wahoo here on the Ocean Stinger. Brandon Boatwright, our angler. Jesse Golick, our captain. Not quite going to bump that Pelagic out of second place today. But any day you can catch a blue marlin and a Wahoo and a dolphin in the Big Rock Tournament is a great day. Good to see this crew back here at Big Rock Landing. All right, and a 5.6 pound dolphin here on the Ocean Stinger. Brandon's got a lot to smile about today. Great pitchers, great setting, great scene here. That breeze blowing our American flags. All right, y'all, and I'm going to get the inside scoop from Natasha. She is the captain, mate, lady angler, all in one combo. And like I said earlier, they fought a blue marlin for quite some time. So, Natasha, go ahead and tell us all about it. It was an awesome day. We had two marlin come into our spread and they both hit at the same time. And we had another marlin hit on our pack starboard teaser, and we had three marlin on at the same time. We had two lines cross, 
So we had one that we had to switch over the rods into the starboard, one on the port side, and we had two that were fighting at the exact same time for a good while. One popped off and that one held tight for the whole ride out. It took a while to bring her up. <laughs> that's amazing. And the fish you said was an estimated? I would say about 240. Wow, that's impressive. That's a long time to be fighting a fish. And with all that chaos going on, I'm sure you, as the mate, had your hands full. I certainly did, but I have an amazing crew, my husband Jesse and our amazing crew that helped us bring it all in. We've been having a stellar week. Absolutely. This is your third day at Big Rock Landing and you still have a day tomorrow? One more day. Yes, ma'am. That's awesome. So hopefully they'll be back tomorrow at Big Rock Landing with either a bigger dolphin or maybe even a blue marlin. That's the goal. <laughs> All right, well, let's wish the Ocean Stinger good luck here tomorrow. There you go. Does remind me that uh, out of the 266 entries in this year's Big Rock Tournament, 162 boats will be fishing tomorrow. So uh, today, fishing a little slow offshore. 14 blue marlin caught and released, including this one uh, on the Ocean Stinger five white marlin and eight sailfish caught and released offshore of Moorhead City today. Again, 162 boats fishing tomorrow on Saturday, that being day six of the 64th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. So uh, things, are, things are coming to an end here, uh, about 20 minutes, quarter to seven or so. And the, uh, as a reminder, the game fish scales will be open until seven o'clock. Hopefully the uh, 169 boats fishing, or 162 boats, excuse me, fishing tomorrow will have a uh, blue marlin or two for us to look at. We'll check our leaderboards here in just a second as we prepare to uh, wrap up day five of the record-setting 64th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. All right, guys, we are looking for a Judy Rose. Judy Rose, you left your credit card at the Pelagic Tent.
have I have redemption in four. Yeah. Instead of so it's actually overall. you are ready. All right, Carly, the sun is setting literally and figuratively on the uh, day five of the record-setting 64th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. Uh, it's close to 7 o'clock, and we're going to wrap it up here. Um, of course, the scales will be up just a few more minutes. Um, lots of game fish activity, as we expected today. Uh, with 139 boats fishing, uh, 14 blue marlin releases, five white marlin, and uh, eight sailfish releases today. I think the, you know, the big news to me is the job site with our big rock, big hero, uh, with a catch and release blue marlin and a 32.2 pound dolphin uh, to unofficially take home a couple thousand bucks. Uh, as the uh, daily winner on the dolphin side of things, the Mac 900 with a 25.1 pound dolphin. And of course, uh, in the Wahoo division, we saw a couple of really nice Wahoo, a lot of nice Wahoo this week. There have been. Um, April, May, 50.2 pounds, and the Pelagic, uh, 42.3 pounds to, uh, to take second place in today's uh, Wahoo division. Uh, the other big news today is the Safari and uh, in the release divisions. Tell us about that. Yeah, absolutely. So Safari has once again taken the cake in the release division daily prize, earning them $37,000. So they stay in the lead. They will take home over $112,000 plus $75,000 in their daily prize money. So nearly $200,000 going to that boat. And you guys stay tuned. Once we finish this recap, you'll see an awesome release video from that team. And the non-Solnar release division, we had the boat Irene in the lead with three Blue Marlin releases worth nearly $130,000. So congratulations to them. Um, hopefully that hangs on, but we'll just have to wait and see. We've got another day of fishing tomorrow, it. 162 boats eligible to fish so we could potentially see a lot of action at the scales trying to shake up that top three leaderboard yeah, that's held so on since monday and let's take a look at it uh, in third place the high yield 536.8 pounds uh two hundred eighty-three thousand dollars potentially to them if they hang on wall hanger in second place 556.4 pounds uh four hundred and twenty six thousand dollars and boy wouldn't it be something the the Mercenaria was the first fish weighed in in the tournament. They are potentially looking at a wire-to-wire -wire victory here in the 64th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. Of course, entered in all of the levels, a potential almost $3.5 million payday for them. Uh, but they've already won that $777,000 level five prize. Yeah, and Tommy, now that we're talking about it, it's kind of a funny story. So whenever we announce the Super 20 level that, is, of course, cost $20,000 to enter, we were keeping our eyes out to see what boats registered. And Mercenaria was the first team to register for that Super 20 category. And, of course, they brought in the first fish to the scale. So how incredible is that? Yeah, sto stories abound. Uh, looking at the dolphin uh, category, the winner take all the Carolina time, 54.1 pounds, $527,000. I saw Captain Jay Blunt down here on Sunday investigating the way station situation. It recalled to me a very specific time several years ago when the Poole family literally brought their boat over here and practiced 
backing into the slip, and they won that year's tournament in dramatic fashion on the last day, wow. uh, decking the largest blue marlin there right before the awards banquet. So it did kind of, uh, you, you know, those stories, Carly, that they just uh, keep adding up. They, they do, and it just adds so much to me to the charm of the tournament. Um, Absolutely. You know, big fish, big money, but there's so <laughs> many other stories. Uh, to be told here yep. and, and we'll do our best to bring them to you absolutely right. and one last thing that's really impressive to me is the fact that that dolphin that you mentioned earlier from the carolina time is worth five hundred twenty seven thousand dollars but the second place blue marlin is worth four hundred twenty six thousand dollars so again like you mentioned earlier it really shows that you can win money just about any way possible and you can win a lot of money for not necessarily even a big fish and anybody can do it as we've seen no absolutely. doubt about it no doubt about it all absolutely. right so you so guys tune in keep watching we're gonna see a clean release from the safari so thank you to that crew for sharing that footage with us so keep watching yep see you tomorrow Good job, Safari. Go get another one.